I've got a radio controlled nitro power drift car. Look at that, we've got a real engine in there. So here we've got the nitro fuel that it runs on. So we're gonna try and start it for the first time and then we're gonna take it out for a rip. So it's got a real working engine, a disc brake, metal chassis, double wishbone suspension, front and rear. Run it in fast, it'll be fast. Next, we need to add some batteries for the servos. So I'm not a fan of these AA battery holders, so I'm gonna go ahead and fit a LiPo. Steering, plenty of speed and power. Throttle, brakes. So this comes with rubber tires, which is great for handling, but not so great at drifting. I see drift cars usually come with these hard sort of plasticky tires. So I've got a set of drift tyres here, and these ones have got flints in there that should make them spark. Boom! Oh, check this out. Here we've got this Subaru Impreza body from Killer Bodies. So later on, we're going to mount this and put the rubber tyres back on. And do some rally driving. Yes! If you're wondering what this is, I've built my own monster truck. And there's a full build series on this channel. I'm going to put a link to that down below. Look at that V8 engine goodness. 66 inch tall tyres. And the axles weigh a ton each. Check out the size of all these components. Look, that's a knuckle. Anyway, let's go drifting. <laughs> Perfect for drifting. Check out the weather. It's winter, but it's like summer. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> you gotta jump it. It's a drift car. Okay. Oh, get your body on it. <laughs> So we had a little bit of fun, but the engine did soon blow up. Oh. <laughs> What have you done now, Kev? Uh, yeah, pull it. Yeah, I, I think we've seized the engine. Run it in fast, it'll be seized. <laughs> You're running really good, though. No, does that look like metal to you? What? Take this Where? Off. That little piece of metal at the end. Oh! Da, da, da. Oh. oh! Oh, where's that? What? Where's that from? <laughs> what? These? They're bits of metal. Where could that have come from? I reckon we put it back together again, it would work, wouldn't it? It's not bad. Look at that, back in action. Get it back on, boy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Max is go. <laughs> Oh, has it gone tight again? I don't know. Oh, it's gone tight again. No. Has it? Yeah. Oh, head off again. Where's all this coming oh, from? There's more of it. Oh, see, solid. Oh, Wait a minute, turn. I'm going to push that piston back down, bang that on there. That's, that's, bottom, that's bottom what I'm going to do, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. Back in it. Oh my God, look what's onto that. It's shot blasted the head. Oh, game over. Look, the glow plug's done. Is it? Yeah. Oh, where's that gone? Gone. Game over for now. Back to the shop. I think probably new engine. Subaru body, and then do some rally driving with it. Let's take this engine apart and see what's going on. Yeah. 
Here we go. Well, that don't look too bad in there. Oh, there we go, look. Bottom end, that bottom end bush there, look. Chunks missing. These force engines are normally really good. And I think the problem here wasn't even due to not running it in properly. It's probably because we got drift tires and we're just over revving it. There we go, eBay, lovely jubbly. Wee! We got the spare conrod turned up. However, I've just noticed on the piston, we have a chunk missing. Not sure if that's gonna matter. Guess we'll see in a minute. So if we look in here, look, it's got this tiny little clip. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get it out. We'll give that a quick clean up with some brake cleaner. I can't see this thing going back in. That's gonna fly across the room and be gone forever. Yeah, guess that's in. Better give that a quick clean in there as well. What's that bit for? Why won't I go in there? Came out of there. We've got a brand new glow plug. So I reckon that spring must go in there, then the pin, and that must locate in there. There we go, full engine rebuild. Oh. What is going on? Be easy to just buy a new one. Hey, it works. No idea if it's gonna run though, we'll see in a minute. So I wanna change the exhaust position. I had to put a hole in the body here. I didn't line up properly. It wasn't even sticking out properly. So you mess everywhere. So I think I'm gonna try and turn it round so it's facing down and that way we don't need to ruin this nice body. Boom! Next up, let's see if we get the Subaru body to fit. Check out the detail of that. Please fit. Do you know what? A slight adjustment of the body posts. I think we're going to be good to go. So a broken body post off and a new one on. This one here is also a little bit short. I think the front ones are going to be all right. I am not very good at lining this up, so I'm probably going to make an absolute mess of it. So the back was quite easy because we can see through the window. But the front, where it's painted, we can't. So I think we've got to kind of guess where those posts come out. Maybe we can scratch it. Oh, look, we can see the line. So all we've got to do now is measure these posts and then transfer it onto here. All right, here goes nothing. Here we go. Is it going to fit? Please, we only get one shot at this. Yes! We've got the arches lined up pretty well. It's all in the middle. I don't think we could have actually done it much better. However, these tyres are too wide and they're going to rub on the body. So I've got a set of tyres here. They look to have less offset. Hopefully, they're going to fit on and be inside the body a little bit. Yes! Yeah, it's better. It's still catching a little bit. I've got an idea. If you look here, look, we've got adjustable camber links. If we adjust the wheels in a little bit, might clear it. <laughs> look at it. Is this what the boy racers call stance? Next up, let's see if the engine runs and then we're going to take it out for a rip. So the engine was so tight, I had to loosen off the glow plug, get the engine started, and then tighten it back up. <laughs> Next up, servo upgrade. So this is a AGF Premium Servos. Check out those specifications. That is one of the fastest servos I've ever seen. If you want all the techno babble, link down below. Let's get it in. So a plastic case on this one to keep the weight down, I presume. Metal gears. <laughs> Next up, we've got to plug in the battery, turn the radio on, make sure the servo is centered and fit the servo arm. Whoa, check out how fast that is. Check out that speed, that's mad. That's one of the fastest servos I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Right, let's go rip. Here we go.
<laughs> so here we're attempting to tune it. <laughs> oh, that might have been <laughs> game have, over. Have we seized it? <laughs> Should we have a little go? Yeah, give it a pull. Oh, <laughs> oh yank it. What, properly or? Let's just, just try and unseize it. We put my foot there, yeah? Oh! <laughs> no, that's not. You, really? You've you bullied it. Oh, what? Get the head yeah. off, have a look. Two engine seizures in one video. <laughs> the thing is, though, first of all, engine, you must have bought the whole car. Really? Yeah, there's not much in it. Oh dear. What were we expecting to see? Oh. Or maybe the bearing. I seized it in there. How to unseize a nitro engine by Mr. Talbot. If we get that unseized, oh man. That is, I reckon there's something more to it. Jesus. If you get that piston down. Oh, oops. There goes the. Uh... Oh, no, it's moving. Is it? I need a hammer. Oh man. Do we do a run again? No, look, it's down now. It's turning. What's it doing now? Oh, we freed it. Look. No. Oh, yes. No. Oh, give it, give it all, give it, give it maximum. Maximum. <laughs> uh, I'll saddle it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Game over.